in the previous videos we talked about the types of languages types of grammars types of automata in this video we'll look at the relationship between language grammar and the corresponding automata if you see if you look at the venn diagram we can say that regular languages are subset of context free languages which are subset of context sensitive languages which are subset of recursive enumerable languages if you remember we defined recursive enumerable languages as type 0 context sensitive languages as type 1 context free languages as type 2 and regular languages as type 3 so if we write in terms of types it should look like t3 is a subset of t2 which is a subset of t1 which is a subset of t0 here what we are saying is regular languages are subset of context free languages which are subset of context sensitive languages which are subset of recursive enumerable languages for every language there associated a grammar which is used to generate the language in the same way for every language there is an automata which can recognize the language so here we have a regular grammar which can generate the regular language the regular language i mean the whole part here this whole thing which can be recognized by by the finite automata in the same way context free grammars can generate context free languages which are this part the whole part including regular languages context free language and regular language which can be recognized by push down automata and we have context sensitive grammars which can generate context sensitive language which is this part the whole part from csl which includes cfl and regular languages these three languages can be recognized by linear bounded automata in the same way we have recursive enumerable grammars which can generate recursive enumerable languages along with along with all the three all the other three parts three languages i mean to say this whole part r e l c s l c f l <coughs> all the all the four languages can be generated by recursively enumerable grammars and which can be which can be recognized by during machines so we can say that during machine can recognize four languages and linear bounded automata can recognize three languages 
push down automata can recognize two languages finite automata can recognize one language which is finite which is regular language so expressive power of turing machine is greater than expressive power of linear bounded automata which is exp uh, which is greater than expressive power of push down automata which is greater than expressive power of finite automata here expressive power is the number of number of languages languages a machine can accept so we have this table this is to be taken note of where we say regular languages are subset of cfls which are subset of csls which are subset of recursive enumerable languages and turing machine is more powerful than any other automata and the corresponding expressive powers are like 4 3 2 and 1 on a special note we can say that expressive power of turing machine is equivalent to expressive power of a computer by this i mean any language which which can be accepted by a turing machine can also be accepted by a computer any language which can be accepted by a computer can also be accepted by a turing machine any language which can be recognized by a computer can be recognized by the turing machine if a language cannot be recognized by a computer it cannot be recognized by the turing machine also so the power of turing machine is equivalent to the power of computer